morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. Hope you're having a great day today. Remember, go home flat. Geithner's overseas in Poland. God knows what kind of stuff might go on over there. God knows what kind of stuff might go on in Europe over the weekend. Go home flat. Now, we've got to talk a little bit about Solyndra before we get back to basics. The Solyndra story, which is very similar to a story here in Massachusetts, is where uh, the Chinese have subsidized their solar panel business. So as a direct consequence, people, excuse me, American companies or German companies that want to compete with the Chinese are structurally unable to do that because prices become artificially low. And they're going to stay artificially low. And just like in the rare earth model, as soon as the Chinese get control of the solar panel market, guess what? The price of the solar panel is going to rise. So it's not surprising that the solar panel business uh, has disappeared, both in, uh, excuse me, not only in Massachusetts, but in the rest of the United States as well. So the question really before uh, the uh, public's mind is was there chicanery in Solyndra? I think not. I just think it was a bad industry to be in. Uh, and if you look at the details of our morning commentary today, you'll be seeing that, in fact, uh, you know, we've been telling people to get out of solar panels for three or four years, just when other people were getting in. Secondly, uh, in uranium, uh, despite all the things that are going on in the world of uh, nuclear reactors, the price of uranium is going up. Uh, after a period of being down, uranium is now trading around 5250, uh, and it's moving in a positive direction. And just remember, uranium is a contract uh, uh, commodity, and so people sign contracts for 20 or 30 years worth of uranium. It's really not a commodity, so you can't track uranium prices day to day or even, God help us, minute to minute. So we're thinking uranium is, remains a good place to be. Thirdly, both headline and, and core CPI are up in August. What that means is that the specter of inflation is real, um, and it hasn't gone away, and it's also going to be a factor in the Federal Reserve uh, continuing their, their twisting. In other words, they are going to be uh, artificially keeping the short-term rates down in order to make the uh, long-term rates higher. And so uh, there is not going to be any significant quantitative easing in the foreseeable future. Now, as we look at gold today, gold today is trading uh, the low, excuse me, the high uh, 1780s. And we expect gold to be in a very positive light over the next few days. But we're reminding goldies to just chill, just relax. The long-term trend is your friend. You bought gold for 1100 bucks and you've been trading up and putting in the stops and the stop limits we've suggested, you're going to do just fine and dandy. So I uh, want you to relax, not worry too much. The trend is definitely our friend. Uh, even though we may see, uh, so we may have seen an intermediate top, we might see some trading down as low as, as uh, 1675, in the long run, that means by November, we should see gold pushing $2,000 an ounce. So, um, Arnie Waters here, go home flat. Uh, get rid of all your positions by the end of the day uh, because there's too much stuff going on in the macroeconomic sense for us to uh, risk leaving positions open and starting out Monday morning 3 or 4% down. That's not a good way to start the week as a money manager. So this is Arnie Waters. Thanks for listening. Have a great weekend. Be safe. Thanks so much. Keep swinging.